Casey here with 911 Motorsports. And in this video, we're gonna be plasma cutting on a frame because uh, we're in the middle of making this tube bumper here. And I decided I wanted to modify this frame plate. So we need to do a little bit of plasma cutting and I figured it'd be a good time to show you guys the do's and don'ts of plasma cutting on a vehicle like we are about to do over here. This is a frame plate and I am wanting to make a notch out of it so then we can use it as a nice recovery point to wrap a soft shackle through. We're gonna be wanting to grab our plasma stencil here and we can put it in this hole just like this, use a couple of our mag holders to hold this in place because this is kind of a hard thing to uh, get a clamp on. When we go to plasma cut, all the sparks are gonna be flying over here and we don't want those messing with the paint job on our winch or the front of the vehicle. So in order to prevent that, what we're gonna need is a deflector to deflect the sparks away from this. And this is just a piece of sheet metal I found that seems to fit in here pretty good. Um, something, something about like that, I think, is gonna, is gonna deflect these sparks down and out of the way. We can add a, add a little clamp to make sure this thing stays in place. Uh, just like that, that'll hold that real good. We're gonna wanna use some anti-spatter spray uh, in here because these sparks are gonna be getting real hot right on this metal. Now, the anti-spatter spray is gonna help to just prevent any of the buildup on it and that may it'll make it easy to clean off. Okay, we got our stencil and mag holders all centered up and we're ready to make a cut. like that. Now we need to do a couple straight cuts, knock off any of that slag. And this is where, uh, go back to using these little mag holders and also where I like our offset blocks to try to make sure we're going to be in line with things. That's going to help to put the waste on that side of the line. And that should, that should line our two lines up pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and use another one just to hold her a little more solid. Now, a little straight cut. It's like that. You can see, see how hot that is back there? That's how close. This is the one problem with having a shield so close is it's starting to, it's wanting to melt through it. And this is also why these back shields, this is, this is your sacrificial layer. So this is something that you don't care about getting hurt. Uh, then our next cut, so you can see that actually, that lined up pretty dang good. That's a nice transition from circle to straight. It's where these, uh, the offset blocks come in real handy. So back to here, use this little guy just when you're really wanting to make things look nice and precise, that way that's putting that Waste on the inside. One more just for good measure there. And our last cut, this one's gonna be a little funky. How do we get through here like that? I can pull from this side to here. How about that? And you can see how hot that got back there and it actually warped it as well. So that's, that's a lot of heat coming off this plasma cutter. And the buildup right here, all that is just coming not off nice and easy. So there's, um, there's a quick example of how you can plasma cut something on a vehicle using a shield to uh, keep anything behind that nice and clean. And doing things like this is where it's real helpful for our plasma stencils to be able to come and do this on a vehicle. These, that's why these things are so nice and small is because it allows you to be able to modify things like this. Got this all cleaned up, tubes tacked in place. And so now this is where this is gonna make a really nice solid spot for a soft shackle. So you can kind of pull in any direction and it's not gonna go anywhere. So that's about it for this video. Make sure to stay tuned to the next one where you can see the full tube bumper build on this Bronco. And if you like the video, make sure to like it. Have any questions or feedback, add a comment below.
and make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to speed with 911 Motorsports. Pan around.